this is Luis Monda at Johnny Topo's Boxing Gym with lead uppercut technique. Being as I'm a southpaw, I'm going to be using my right hand. But for orthodox fighters, of course, it's the same thing, just you know, mirror, left hand instead of right. But beginning position, head off center, lead shoulder higher than the rear shoulder, on the toes. Heels don't have to be very high, but high enough so that your weight is balanced between your two big toes. Now, traditionally, what we see nowadays is a lot of fighters leaning and throwing the uppercut like this. Or this way, you know, with the rear uppercut, but leaning forward. The philosophy is you don't want to give your face to your opponent. The closest thing to your opposition should be your lead foot, your lead hand, and lead shoulder. So when you lean forward too far, you're compromising this by giving your face to the other guy, dropping the shoulder to throw the uppercut. The other problem is most people arc their uppercut straight up. You see a lot of guys shadow boxing, they throw their uppercuts like this. Who's up here? Nobody. Your opponent's over there. So the arc of the uppercut goes away from the body, not straight up in the air, away from the body. So beginning position, head off center, and defense in place, chamber by stepping forward, the left hand, the rear hand comes forward a little bit, uppercut hand is hidden, boom, there's the uppercut. So you chamber, boom, chamber, boom. There's a slight shift of weight. When you chamber, weight shifts slightly to the front toe. But as you pull the uppercut up, shifts back to the back foot. If the rear hand stays in position, what will happen is you chamber your cross to follow right behind. So if you want to throw the cross right after, it's easy. Boom, bang. Now, if you wanted to throw just the lead uppercut without the chamber, it's essentially the same motion. So if you just use the weight shift and then pull back. That weight shift and the slight push off of the front toe is what brings the body weight into the punch and chambers across. Bang, bang. Weight stays balanced. If somebody were to hit me, everything is solid. Whereas if I'm like this, someone hits me, I fall back that way because there's no leverage on that side. So it's chamber and then a slight pull back towards the rear hand to bring the uppercut up. If you're trying to get the uppercut more in this direction, then you step, boom. If you're trying to get it more this way, little pivot, boom. It's there. Now, practical use. Come over here. A lot of guys tell me that they can't uppercut bags because they go like this. Like if, if this was a heavy bag, they're going up the heavy bag. Again, nobody is up here. So the punch goes away and up. Arcing outward from the body. Shift, bang. Just lead uppercut, bang. Shift, impacting with in the front two knuckles. Bang. Cross behind it. The uppercut alone. Cross right there. Bang. Boom. And both sound similar because they both have weight movement. That's how we do it.